Okay. Wanted to show you guys a little trick I learned. This is uh, June 2nd, 7 o'clock in the morning. Just woke up. I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm drinking it right now. Um, my hack phone is stuck in a little boot loop because uh, I'm playing with the Cyanogen 7.1 ROM on the HTC Evo 3D, and I'm trying to overclock the processor. Not an easy task at all because um, on YouTube, I haven't seen it done yet. I haven't seen anybody overclock an Evo 3D running Cyanogen Mod 7.1. So this is what my phone is doing right now. My hack phone is stuck in a boot loop. You can see it right, right here. So I wanted to show you guys a little trick I learned to fix this. Um, here, let me, let me, uh, all right, I'll show you that this doesn't work. One second here. Um, I'm going to have to put the phone down. One second. Take the case off. Pull the battery out. Reset it. I don't wait that long either. I'm tired of waiting. They say wait like 60 seconds after you pull the battery out. I don't care. Okay, so I'm going to put it in recovery mode. One second. Okay, so just to show you um, that this doesn't work either. Once you, what I did is I tried to overclock it with the uh, with the Tiamat, Tiamat, however you pronounce it, the Tiamat 1.1 um, overclocking kernel for the Evo 3D running Cyanogen Mod 7.1 on the Evo 3D. That kernel doesn't work does not work if you flash it from flash image GUI or if you flash it from recovery. So what I'm going to do, if you see this, it's auto focuses. I don't know what the stupid problem is with the focus thing. Um, one second here. Okay, anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to go to wipe data factory reset. I need to uh, figure out a way to fix it so it focuses. Anyhow, I'm going to skip all this because I've already done all this. So, here's the little trick I learned. Let me plug in the... Because uh... I know I'm not the only one. I know a lot of people, they get stuck in a boot loop when they're trying to flash kernels and stuff. Here's a little trick I learned. Watch this. Mounts and storage... Go to mounts and storage. Let's go ahead and mount the USB storage. Okay. And uh, let's go over here. One second here. Um, C. Root Evo 3D. And let's go over here. Uh, no momento. Uh, okay. Okay, so, I just mounted USB storage. We are going to go to Clockwork Mod Recovery, Backup, and we're going to copy this. This is my most recent backup of a working version of Cyanogen Mod 7.1. Um, I'm going to create a folder called Temp real quick. T E M P. Okay, so here's my temp folder. I'm going to go in there, paste the most current backup that I have of a working version on the EVA 3D of Cyanogen Mod 7.1. Okay, but you guys are going to love this. Watch this. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to open the backup. This right here that right there. If you ever get stuck in a boot loop when you're trying to flash kernels, that file is God. Alright? Okay, so you copy that file. I'm going to go back to the root directory of my little hack thing. And you can see I've already got a boot image right there. I've already done this, but we're going to replace it. Replace it, okay, with the new boot image. Boom. Done. Now, we're going to go back here and unmount 
We're going to power off. And we are going to go back into the bootloader to fast boot USB. Alright, so I gotta put the phone down and do that one second. Okay, now we're in the bootloader. We're gonna go to fast boot. Okay, everybody see that? Alright. Fast boot USB. Alright, now watch this little trick. Y'all are gonna love this. Ready? One second here, let me open the command prompt. La 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 fast boot ADB files are right there all right and this is the command after you replace the boot image from your from your original backup your last backup you want to replace that boot dot IMG in the uh, root folder where your fast boot ADB files are all that stuff okay now watch this watch this I gotta put the phone down fast boot flash boot boot dot img okay if I'm remembering that from memory correctly this should work so watch this okay and remember <clears throat> I said the phone is stuck in a boot loop because I tried to overclock the Evo 3D with Cyanogen Mod 7.1 with the TMAC kernel the TMAC kernel does not work um, and I haven't seen anybody on YouTube with videos that have done it yet overclocking the EVO 3D running Cyanogen Mod 7.1 um, they've done it on the EVO 4G not the EVO. okay so watch this watch this okay working 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 writing boot image oh okay there we go now let's go back here and let's go down okay so remember at the beginning of the video when it was stuck in a boot loop and it just kept on rebooting and rebooting and rebooting and rebooting. Watch this. Watch this. This is beautiful. Y'all are going to love this. And this is just a little trick I learned by going to tons of forums and and uh, <coughs> and stuff. So if you ever get stuck in a boot loop when you're trying to overclock kernels and yada, 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 and all that craziness, um... One second here. Okay, this is embarrassing. It should work. So, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, one second. Should see that nice little Android signage in 7.1 boot screen here in just a few seconds. And bing, bada, boom, there it is. Alright, so if you remember, at the beginning of the video, I was stuck in a boot loop because I was trying to flash the overclocking kernels and uh, see, isn't that cool? look at that, look at that alright, so that's my video for this morning